Uh, my name is Heather Peart. I am the chair for the cardiology technology program at Anderson College. I have been in this profession for over 30 years. I started out in my career uh, very early as a cardiology technologist. I got into teaching, I've got into management, um, sales, all aspects of cardiology technology. What am I most passionate about in cardiology? Uh, I just love the subject. I love teaching it. I, uh, I love seeing the students experience when they have no background and within months they're interpreting ECGs. Uh, they can see certain pathology on the ECG. I love how excited the students become when they actually start doing some of the practical components of cardiology. And because I love cardiology, obviously I'm going to be excited when someone else loves it the same way that I do. I think most generally, you know, the whole idea about it is that it's giving back, and how do you give back? It's by being able to perform these tests like you know, ECG, stress testing, ambulatory monitoring, and make sure that you do it, and especially at Anderson College, one of our focus is on empathy and compassion. And we wanna make sure that our students are empathetic, they're compassionate, as well as they have a really good knowledge of cardiology. So I think, uh, from my perspective, that's why I'm here. My, my whole focus on this is to make sure that when the students come out, it's not just a knowledge head. They're empathetic, they have knowledge, they're really good at performing these tests, and they stand out as a cardiology technologist. Our pacemaker module is a three-week module, and uh, we really do get in depth with it. Uh, the students do learn quite a bit about how a pacemaker works. Um, what kind of defects can happen, what kind of abnormalities can happen with the pacemaker, how do you recognize this on the ECG, uh, you know, which is a little bit different thinking in regards to the normal ECG, because with pacemaker you're seeing, the pacemaker is identified by spikes on the ECG. And um, in ide identifying things that can go wrong is, uh, is the spikes doing something a little bit different than what it's normally supposed to do? So yes, that is quite exciting for them, especially just learning about how a pacemaker works because again, this is supposed to mimic the heart, right? So it's actually quite interesting uh, for them to understand, well, they know how the heart works and now they understand the whole concept of how a pacemaker mimics the heart and how do you program the pacemaker to do that. So that is actually quite interesting for them. The practicum they have to complete is a um, four month practicum. They're, it's done in hospital and clinics, cardiac clinics. Uh, usual work day, nine to five, eight to four, seven to three. Um, it is very helpful for the students, uh, mainly because we've been in class for 60 weeks. Now they're physically getting an idea to go out there and see what the real world is like. So, and they're gonna learn a lot when they're on practicum. Okay, I mean, we give them the basics uh, in school and the fundamental for them to go out there and be successful in a practicum. Uh, so they go out and, they, and the practicums teach them a lot of stuff as well that we don't teach them in school. But they're prepared to learn all of that because they have the background to do that now that they've finished the program. Uh, so students love their practicum. Uh, you know, some students go to one practicum, some students go to two practicum. So they get to see the different, um, how different organization work, for instance, a hospital and a clinic per se. Uh, the practicums, uh, I think it makes them more well-rounded from just uh, an academic setting and uh, a simulation setting. This is real life and they actually get to see what happens in the real world, what happens to real patient, how to deal with real patient um, outside of an academic institution. 